What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Nerd Show Toy Reviews. This time I have the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets at 76389 with 1,176 pieces that retails for $129.99. So this is part of the brand new castle build that they're doing for Lego Harry Potter's 20th anniversary. We have the little logo right down there. And with this set we get 11 minifigures all shown down here at the bottom where we get the special gold figures in each of these boxes. So for this one we have a gold Voldemort. But this is part of the new Lego castle build so it doesn't fit in with the past castles we've got over the past couple years it doesn't fit in with the rest of those and it has the green roof where those old sets had the gray roof so these sets are much more scaled down so very similar to how I feel with like the Star Wars sets they've been doing with like the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter they're like the normal sets but they've kind of like shrunk them down made them cheaper and everything that's what I feel they did with this set so it's shrunken down so like here we have the Great Hall you can see it's like shrunken down but then underneath we get a bunch of like the castle like ground or rock or whatever that it's sitting up on the focus is going crazy on here but this is the Chamber of Secrets so down below we do have the chamber of secrets we'll see that especially as we flip the set around and so we have a basilisk we have the entrance to the chamber over here and a bunch of other stuff that goes along with the chamber of secrets and a bunch of characters and everything so a lot of this has to do with the second book movie whatever you want of chamber of secrets so we get a lot of characters and scenes and stuff from that but of course once we get the whole castle put together which includes at least two more sets so once we include those we get another chamber of secrets set of the bathroom but then we also get the third floor scene with fluffy so that doesn't fit in because that's from sorcerer stone so they just kind of thrown a whole bunch of stuff here together but it's a nice looking castle I will say that like especially from this view I think it looks nice but when you get flipped around that's when some issues start to appear to me so if we flip the box around you can see what it's going to look like on the inside so we can see the opposite side of the castle so we have the great hall we have the fence against the dark arts classroom the defense against the dark arts teacher's room which in this case it's Gilroy Lockhart we get it a little astronomy tower thing at the top and then we get the chamber of secrets all down here in the bottom so that all looks cool I really do like the chamber that's like one of the best parts to me I think it looks probably the best chamber of secrets there's been so that all looks great so I'm excited to show that to you and I do forget we do also get these wizard cards the like from the chocolate frogs there are six of them in this set I forgot to bring them down but I don't really have any like two exciting characters I have got two repeats so far but I didn't want to let you know that those are included in the set but like I said I forgot to bring them down with me but enough with looking at the box let's look at the actual set but of course we'll start with the minifigures so start off with Harry Potter himself we have his face with the glasses and the smile he has the scar up on top of his head and he has the additional head print of being scared there in the back we have his outfit of the Hogwarts robes he has the Gryffindor crest there right on his chest and has the gray sweater with the red and gold band at the bottom red and gold tie and white shirt underneath and got the black pants to go along with it then he has his dark brown wand and he has the sword of Gryffindor of course going into the chamber of secrets so nice sword there I love the red that they added onto it to give it like those rubies and stuff looks awesome then we got Avis Dumbledore in an outfit that looks different from anything I've ever seen before so he's a nice like purplish pink outfit which looks really nice but we've got Albus Dumbledore's long white hair going down to the back long white beard then we have his old wrinkly face half moon spectacles sitting on his nose white eyebrows and that outfit just looks crazy in the pink as I said nice black and gold outline purple underneath you can see his belt there and then he has his wand there in his hand of course I'll be the elder wand then we got Ginny Weasley which is also in her Hogwarts robe so she has the Hogwarts crest and then the same outfit as Harry on underneath we got Ginny's face so she has the little smile there freckles on her face and she's a redhead and speaking of she has her long red hair there and around on the back she's got a worried face again same robes just like Harry just a little different design hers are closed where Harry's were open she comes with her orangish brown wand and and we have Tom Riddle's diary and you can see it's already got the poke holes from the basilisk thing so that's a fun little book there's nothing on the inside of course since when you write it kind of disappears but that's fun next we get Luna Lovegood which is a fun character of course we don't see her yet by Chamber of Secrets we haven't met her yet but she's in her Ravenclaw robe so just like Ginny but in Ravenclaw colors so blue and silver in this case but it's supposed to be blue and bronze but she has the little Ravenclaw logo there on her chest gray shirt with blue and silver stripe blue and silver tie then she's got her face with a very similar face to Ginny's with the little smile she has the long blonde hair going down the back and then a worried face just like Ginny and then she has her dark brown wand in her hand then we get Colin Creevy a fellow Gryffindor to Harry Potter and he's in the outfit just like Ginny so exact same body design with the Gryffindor logo on his chest we have Colin Creevy with his big smile there and his eyebrows are raised with his happy face his poofed up blonde hair and a worried face there on the back and I like on these figures I haven't pointed out yet that they do have the points of the robes there printed on the back so that's pretty nice since they do have like the pointed hoods with the red underneath for Gryffindor in this case so I forgot to point that out but that's nice and he comes with a really dark brown wand or black almost and his camera so we got the nice camera piece here looks very nice I like the way it's designed it looks very similar to how it did in the movie then we get Justin Finch Fletchley and he looks pretty nice here so he is a Hufflepuff so he has the Hufflepuff logo in the yellow and black and same outfit design as all the others but obviously in the yellow and black black legs face there with the freckles on it again very similar face to what Ginny's had worried face on the back and his brown hair all swooped over to the side and a sand color wand then we get Professor Gilderoy Lockhart of course the teacher of defense against the dark arts in the second year looks pretty nice here figure over 
overall, of course, Gilroy is full of himself, so he's gonna have a nice outlandish outfit on, so he's a nice orange suit on with a tan and gold vest and a red and gold necktie around his neck. Nice big smile there, of course, some wrinkles on his face since he's a little bit older. Nice blonde hair all combed over to the side and to the back and around on the back of his face. He's got like a worried face, you know, where he's starting to be caught. He even has a little sweat drop there on his head. Then he has this sand brown wand. Next, we have a figure I've never had before, but of Aurora Sinestra, and she is the astrology teacher at Hogwarts, and she is a nice looking figure overall. You know, looks like the classic female teacher design. Has that nice newer design slope piece there to the back. Nice printing on the lower half though where you can see her outfit and it looks like, you know, very fallish and stuff with the leaves. With the tan overcoat on over top, belt there around the waist, tied up there around the neck. Again, looks like very fall color with like leaves and everything on it. We can see her face there with the half moon spectacles there around her face and her hair up all under the hat with the hat she does wear there. So very nice and then a face there on the back where she's kind of smiling. She has the sand brown wand and a book here. It's, it's upside down currently, but I think it's supposed to be like an astrology book or something that looks like potions and everything. I don't really know, especially why it's supposed to be a book exactly, but it's just a book I threw in her hand. Then we've got Nearly Headless Nick, which looks really nice here. So he's in the all white design since it does glow in the dark. So if you had it in the dark, you would be able to see he kind of glows in the dark. So that's pretty cool, but a nice design there of his face. You can see his little mustache and goatee and everything. Got the nice white hairs combed there to the back and a worried face on the back of it. Then we got his like medieval style outfit, as I like the Colin stuff all designed through there, even down printing on his legs. So very nice looking Nearly Headless Nick, and I like how he's in the white and stuff and can glow in the dark. And our final plain figure of the set is Tom Riddle himself. So of course, young Lord Voldemort here, Tom Riddle in the old Hogwarts outfit. Of course it is on like all of grayscale except for his skin since we, like we saw him in the flashback. So his outfit looks all black and white, but nice face, you know, with some lines and stuff on it that makes him look a little bit older with the nice brown hair. And around on the back, we do have an angry face, looks more like Voldemort and everything. So just very nice looking figure of all it is an older character. So he does have the taller legs where all the kids have the short stubby legs. So it looks very nice. He even has the, some of the printing of the robe down on the gray legs. So it looks nice overall. And that's a perfect transition into our gold figure for the 20th anniversary of Lord Voldemort with this set. So nice all gold figure here, nice gold base for it to sit on. Gold robes that completely cover him with even the little star sparkles on there as you can see them look nice. All gold arms and even the Voldemort face there with some lines that stand out in that gold color. Looks very nice. And around on the back we have the 20 years of Lego Harry Potter. So very similar to what they did with the Star Wars figure. So it looks very nice and of course has the gold wand. And then we've got the Basilisk which looks really nice. So this is a new Basilisk design. So for me growing up I barely had any Lego Harry Potter sets. Like the very first Lego set I ever got was a Lego Harry Potter, which was the set from Sorcerer's Stone with Fluffy. So it's awesome that they kind of remade that again. And then I got Hagrid's Hut and that was pretty much it until the sixth movie came along. So I missed out on like all the original sets and like the original Basilisk and everything that they've made since then. We did get that weird looking Basilisk with that newer Great Hall set they made, but this looks really nice overall. Like it's not perfect, but it looks nice. Like the face I think looks almost identical to the Basilisk. Nice molded design overall and stuff just looks very snakish and very big, nice big teeth in there, yellow eyes and everything just looks nice. And then we get the body that goes along and you can twist around so if you want to slide along like a snake on the ground you can get to do that. So you can just get it adjusted around however you want it. Nice big body piece here and I don't like how it has like the teeth piece on here but I think it's just supposed to be for like the spikes and scales. I'm just not a huge fan of it. And then we go to the tail that can rotate around and I don't like unless you turn it to the side so it's slithering on the ground but like to get it to work for this set and stuff you have to have the tail kind of up like this. And I don't like that because it has this big hole in the back there so that's a little annoying so it needs to be more like this but then it can't slide on the ground. But then we have three tail segments here so the one two and three and each one can spin on its own so you can adjust the tail however you want so it's just a nice looking snake figure the face looks really good the rest of the figure is just okay but just pretty nice basilisk to go with our set and that brings us to our hogwarts castle build and like i said it looks very nice i really like the look from the back here it looks very much like hogwarts so the very like rockish bottom all the way down here where then like the great hall sits up high up on the rocks and everything so it looks very nice so it looks very much like the great hall here love that design with the tan and the sand green roofs i just like that design a lot have some flames on there even flames down on the bottom with all the rocks we have a frog here which reminds me there's like so many frogs all over this set it's like crazy how many of these sets like almost every set comes with a frog and there's almost a frog everywhere so we have the little green frog there brown frog there and as we turn it around you'll see all the different frogs so it's just weird how they're including frogs with so much in this set but we got the great hall there in the middle then over here we get more to the classroom so this is the section of defense against the dark arts and so we'll see of course when we flip around but we have a nice little hogwarts crest little sticker piece there on the back and go up to gilderoy's office and then at top where we have the astronomy tower and we do have a little head wig up sitting up there at the top and this nice little see-through piece to put nearly headless nick on if you want to have him floating around then of course part of the, like castle wall up there they can see down over the side and while we're already flipped around back here i do just want to show some stuff here so there is this little rock piece here that does pop off it does give you access to the slide into the chamber of secrets so nice little rock piece you can just pop back on and then we also got right here in the center underneath so this rock piece slides out so you have these two little things you can move out of the way and then it just slides
slides right out. And so this allows a little entrance and we do have the basilisk fang sitting right in there. But nice little piece that just slides in there and then has these things to lock in to hold it. But flipping around here, we can see the inside of the castle now. And like I said, I like the design. They threw a lot of stuff in here just to add a lot of features and everything. But overall, I just don't enjoy it as much as I did the older style. Let's go and just start with the great hall here. So we have the great hall. So up top here, we have a bunch of little stuff thrown in again. I don't know what this is supposed to be. You know, we just have these little triangles of areas to like sit people in and stuff. But we do have like a little wizard chessboard over here. We have a little like globe piece or something with another glow in the dark little head thing in there. Of course, candles floating all around. And over here, we have like candy jars and stuff. So just random stuff thrown up in here. We do have a little flag with the Hogwarts crest on it. So we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And if you lift it up, we do get the sorting hat underneath there. So we have a little sorting hat that just kind of sits up in there. So a weird place to hide it and everything, but it does sit up there real nice and kind of sticks on there. And then once again, do want to point out, we do have a frog sitting up there at the top. And as we go down into the actual Great Hall, of course, I have more frogs sitting on the table. I like the front little table here. So we have a croissant with some cups of tea. We have pixie puffs and cheery owls, which is pretty funny. We have the teacher stand up here. And of course, this little piece here where Dumbledore stands to deliver message at the beginning of the year. And of course, we have one of the fireplaces back in there. So we have these little tables and these tables just barely are on here. So they pop off really easily. So we have this and it's, you know, it can have this sitting here and have characters facing out this way like they're sitting there. Or you can open it up more like this, clear the table off. And we have the little dueling site for the dueling club, which is pretty fun. So you can throw Justin here, Harry Potter, or whatever you want to do, have them dueling up on the table. We have a little table effect that flicks like this. So when they cast a spell, if you know, sends the character flying, you can send them fleeing off like that. And the throne here with this as well, we also get a little snake. So a little snake that Draco summons and then Harry talks to. So fun little snake there to throw in. So just fun little thing. And you can pop any of these little tables and seats off and just rearrange them however you want to, just to make room for everything. And if we move over to the right, we have the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. So we have two little desks here. We have a pink frog there in the back, a little vial of stuff, a candelabra. We have a desk, a picture of Gilderoy, a picture, giant picture of Gilderoy, a skeleton head sitting on the table. And then this little thing, which I don't know what it is, like if it's just supposed to be part of a desk or if it's supposed to be part of the cage to hold the pixies from that part of the scene. But speaking of, we also get little pixies here. So we have some little, little Cornish pixies. I wish see we had some to like stick them on so they'd be like flying around in the air. But just nice little pixies here, nice little molded designs, big nice faces here, all in a nice pair of lesson blue. Just nice looking figure overall. But that's really all there is for the classroom. But if we move up, then we can go to his office. So we have the desk of Gilderoy Lockhart. They have a bunch of pictures in the back. So of course he is obsessed with himself. So he has the picture of him and Harry from the bookstore in Diagon Alley. Then just a bunch of other random pictures, some of his fan mails with some pictures that like Harry helps him sign and a little thing here to hold one of his wigs. So apparently he wears some wigs. So that's pretty fun. Then we have top of the castle here, which is just a broom, another frog. And then again, that clear piece to put nearly headless Nick on if you want. At the top, we do have the astrology a little classroom section thing. So we do have a nice big telescope here that can you know bend around and move however you want it so you can get your characters to look into it. Again, that headwig over on the side and then we have a little crystal ball that glows in the dark and then just a little thing of astrology with stars and stuff on it here. So of course, obviously Sinestra can go up in here. And finally, that brings us to the Chamber of Secrets down here at the bottom. So fun looking design overall. So nice big Salazar Slytherin head here. So the mouth there is the part that does open up so you can slide it through the back there. Nice snake heads here. So these things look pretty nice and the nice molded like snake heads and stuff with the green look really nice and the mouth and the eyes and stuff look pretty awesome. With these, you can pop them off and just kind of sit them wherever you want so you don't have to have them just where they are. But of course for me, I like just the leaf stuff all nice and organized put together so you can just leave it there. Over to this side, we do have the slide. So from Moni Myrtle's bathroom, the slide that leads them down into the chamber. Then we have just a bunch of bones and stuff laying around and I do believe, yeah, right there, there is a white frog. So we have another frog hidden inside of there. And then if we go over to this side, we have the door entrance into the Chamber of Secrets. So again, I don't like this design. I don't like the way it's just like set up. Like this is just sort of how it shows it in the picture on the box. So that's how I threw it. But technically this should be like right over here because they have the slide that leads down into it. And then when they have the door and then the door leads into the chamber of secrets. So it should be somewhere over here, like sitting this way, but you can't like peg it in this way or anything. So you just have to kind of leave it where it is at one of these ends, but it's a pretty nice design. Of course, all these just peg right together, but nice door design with the snake heads all over it, which is pretty nice and just some green and stuff. Of course, designed by Salazar Slytherin. So it's going to have a lot of green. Nice little owl just sitting up top here. Again, this should be a pie with the pull point on stuff, but whatever. And then around on the back there. And of course the door can open and it just opens. Doesn't really do a whole lot. It just opens and swings back and forth there. So I just leave that pegged on to the side here. So that's mostly it for it, but we can go ahead and open this little piece down here at the back. It's like in the movie it does open up and then the basilisk comes crawling out from under it. So you can do that with this basilisk. But of course to do it, like I said, you have to have the head kind of straight on here and the tail kind of straight on for it to slide right through. If you have it off to the side like this, like he's slithering on the ground, it won't be able to fit through.
through. So you have to kind of just leave like this and just kind of snake him through, no pun intended, snake him through there and get it to slide back through. But then we can just go and slide this piece right back in to form that mouth again. And that's all the features for this Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set. So I like with this castle, once I get all the other sets put together and reviewed and everything, we can put the whole castle together and it does kind of rearrange some pieces. The stuff doesn't fully make sense, you know, with the way it's arranged, you know, all the chamber secret stuff should be on the bottom. And it is, but it's just the arrangement of it. But I do like, cause we do have that bathroom set that goes along with it. So you can place it like above the slide here. So they'll actually slide down into the chamber secret stuff. So fun little features like that will fit together once we get all those pieces. But overall, like I said, it's a nice new castle design. I was super excited for this, but then after like looking at it and put together, I've been kind of let down. This set overall reminds me a lot of those old Harry Potter sets from their very early on movies. Like I said, the sets I never got now looking back at them, I do think they're all kind of stupid looking, but it just reminds me so much of that, just the way it's designed and how everything's small and shrunk down. But I hope they end up adding more stuff for this castle because I do want to see this castle maybe get real big, maybe be able to rearrange a lot more stuff and it all work out together and look really nice. But like I said, at least when it's twisted around here to the front, I do think it looks really nice just because I like the design of the ground on the bottom and the castle up on the top just looks overall really nice. But that is it for my review of the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets set 76389. And overall, like I said, I really like the look and design, especially from the backside here, but all the stuff on the inside does leave some to be desired, like it's not the most exciting thing. A lot of stuff with these new Harry Potter sets do seem to be a little bit of a letdown. I feel they just went as boring as they possibly could with each of the sets and like for this one, each of the rooms. I feel they could have put a little bit more effort, of course, would have been more Lego pieces and more cost and everything. But overall, I do like the general design of the whole set. So it's very nice here with all 11 minifigures that we got with this set that all fit perfectly, of course, for the Chamber of Secrets, except for Luna. She's a little bit one that's kind of weird. But then we get the nice Basilisk figure and the gold Voldemort thrown in here with it. So overall, I have to say it's a pretty nice set and I do really enjoy it. But let me know what you thought of the set down in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed my review, please leave a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more of my Lego set reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.